Hello, this is Neil. Welcome to part two of how to draw without actually having to draw. So we're going to add some more lighting and we're going to add this edge and this lighting up here. So I decided um, how I'm going to do this is I'm going to click on the, the space, hold down the control key, left click inside there, that'll bring up the marquee for that shape. Then I'm going to go to select, transform selection, hold down the alt key and shift key at the same time and pull inwards a little bit with the left mouse key. Not too much, you just want it to be a little bit smaller than the original, like so. Click OK. And then we're going to go to Select and Modify. And we're going to modify, we're going to choose Border and choose uh, two pixels, like so. White, make a new layer. You can use a big brush for this, because we only need this top part to be, to be here, not the bottom part, like that. And then unselect this and let's see we can get rid of most of this actually all of to right about here we'll get rid of that and we'll get rid of this up here like that and then finally we'll get rid of all of that go ahead and turn this down a bit like so and then I'm going to get rid of all of this to right about here. And then I'm going to um, use the rectangle marquee tool, extend it out to over there, use this gradient tool, make a new layer on top of this one, and make sure I have this up here selected with white. Pull it down with holding the shift key once, like that, and then twice to make it really bright right there like so. I'm going to turn this down a bit like that. I'm going to just use the eraser tool for the edges here. Really small eraser brush and just kind of get rid of the edge there. Get rid of the edge, oops. Get rid of the edge there like that. Go to this under color. Not under color, under highlight part. Because I need that kind of, I need it to kind of fade together like that. And I'm going to merge those two layers together, like so. And now it's 100%. That way I have the exact color I need right here. Grab this size one brush. I'm just going to kind of pull it right here a little bit before it fades more into there, like so. I noticed that that edge came out really funky, so I'm just going to delete all that. And hopefully I can match this up by copying this side. Edit copy, edit paste, transform, flip horizontally, and hopefully it'll fit right. I need it to be just a little bit the background there like that. I need to just get rid of that one part right there before it matches up perfectly, and it does. And go ahead and merge those two layers together. And I think I need to just drop this down by hitting down on the keyboard, the down arrow, just one pixel like that. And that looks like it's working out. So next what I need to do is um, do the side lighting, and that should be easy enough. What we're going to do to do that is again select the base by holding on the control key, left click in there, make a new layer. Select this marquee tool if I can move the marquee around. I'm just going to do one side and then I'll do the other side. So I'm just going to move this over to the left until it fits perfectly right about here, like so. And then I'm going to use the gradient tool again. I might put on white, pull it down one, two, so it's brighter on the top than it is on the bottom. It doesn't matter that it's so bright because I'm going to be turning it down anyway to something like so. Bring that marquee back again the same way I did before, hold down the control key, left click on that base layer. I'm going to drag it to the size I want it. I'm going to go to um, edit free transform. I want to kind of pull this like that. Okay, I don't know why I just did that. Oh, I know, never mind. Back that up. I meant to go to select transform selection. Pull this diagonal a little bit, pull this down 
where it's about like so, because it gets thinner at the bottom. Go ahead and confirm that. Hit delete on the keyboard. That gets rid of most everything we need to get rid of, but there's still a lot of this over here we need to get rid of like that. All this over here, boom. All this down here, we don't need any of it. And get rid of all that, okay. Now we have that perfect um, edge there. And then I'm gonna mark off just part of the top so it matches perfectly with that. I need to go back to this layer here. I need to get rid of all this top part, that top pixel, and maybe actually perfectly like so. Do that on this side as well. Like that, okay. I can then take this layer, copy it, edit, transform, flip horizontally. Notice that we're thinking about the, oops, wrong layer. Um, my bad. Let's see. Get rid of that layer. I need this one. So drag it down here to make a copy of it. Edit, transform, flip horizontally, and drag it over here, holding the shift key to drag it before it ends up perfectly on that side. See what layer. Go back to this layer here and just using a eraser tool I just want to get rid of part of that. Now I'm going to put all these highlight, highlight layers together by selecting all of them and then merge visible. Grab my pen tool, grab this color here, notice now that layer, oops, I meant to not do that, go to merge layers. Notice that's at 100%, so now I can grab this color and I can use my pen tool and just kind of pull that right there to make sure that's all the same color like that. Cool, so the lighting is starting to come along nicely. Now we just need to um, make a copy of this. That way it can be that bright if we want to and merge that down if you need to do that. Let's go and check one more time. Notice there are still some inconsistencies here. What you can do pixel by pixel, I'm going to select this color with the pen tool. Oops. What I'm doing is I'm clicking and then dragging with the, with, the, with the shift key so it makes a perfect line. And here I'm just going to do a couple pixels by pixels just to kind of, that's too much. I just need that edge to be pretty much the same. Like that. And I'm just going to drag these, oops, holding the shift key down, just drag this out where it all kind of matches. Okay, so that looks pretty smooth. And then I need to make a copy of this layer, just in case I mess this up. And I'm going to use this blur tool here. So it's called the blur tool. And I'm going to pull it on the edge here. Pull it down over here, like so, because I, I don't want this to be too sharp. So I'm just going to kind of blur some of it. And I probably shouldn't blur that part, so just the edge right there a little bit. And then all this right here, just pull along this edge. Only this edge though, that side, the other side should be stiff. Like that. That looks like it'll work. And then if you need to, you know, compare, okay. So cool. I like it so I can get rid of the other layer that, that I duplicated and turn it, you know, that I had turned off. Now we need to add this darkness that's, if you look at the photo again, there's a dark line at the top there. We need to add that. We'll add it between these two layers here. And uh, it should be simple enough to add. Just trying to think how I want to go about it. I'm just going to take the pen tool, use the black for now. I can always turn the opacity down. Uh, let's use a size 3 brush. Click here and then just pull it to both sides by holding the shift key. And this will allow you to draw a perfectly straight line. Like that. And then we'll go to filter. It's on its own layer, so we don't have to worry about messing anything out. Uh, gauge and blur it a bit, like so. And then make a copy of it so it's a little bit darker. 
merge those two together by just merge down. And I think that's working, so let's go ahead and see. Cool. And then I might want to just paint with the brush manually right here behind, oops, right behind that. And I'll hold down, oh man. Okay, so this is a little harder, harder with the mouse, but I'll get it. That's all you need. If you want to do, use a pen tool to do that because you just can't manage to get it with the freehand mouse, then that's cool. Right. Okay, so everything's starting to look good. It's all starting to look lighted. And now we need to add this bottom light down here. Different ways to go about it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first use my pen tool. And if you need to name any of these layers, feel free to do so. Um, for highlights though, I'm just going to make them yellow so I know those are highlight layers. I'm going to actually merge that down with the base because I don't need and then highlight layers here. Okay, I'm going to make a new highlight layer. Might as well make it yellow. I, actually, I'm going to be making more than one and merge them together so I don't need to make it yellow yet, but okay. I need it to go from here to over here, like right about there. I'll pull this over. That's the overall shape that I'm going to need to work with. Then I'm going to grab this uh, convert pen tool and I need to make some little bit of roundness to it. And then now I'm going to have to pull that whole thing down to where it just kind of hits the edge right there and there. I'm going to go and get rid of the, oops, I'll get rid of this one instead, and then pull this back so it's a little bit more round. Like, something like that. Okay, that'll work. Right click it, make it a selection, and I'm going to take the, again, the gradient tool, make sure I have white, make sure I have it selected on this one. And I'm going to pull it down to where just get a little bit of lighting over. Oops, too much. I'm going to way up here, like that. And this is just to add a little bit of that. Pull it way down to where it's just a little bit showing, like that. I can also hold down the control key again and select the base here. And select and inverse it. Hit delete on the keyboard. And that will get anything else that I don't need. Okay, so that overall shape is kind of there now. I'm going to take the blur tool and blur out the edges here. Because this should all just kind of be really soft since um, it's turning a corner and edge is being turned, which, which means that the lighting will be really soft. Like so. They'll be, they'll be adding more darkness down here in a little bit. Just I'm not worried about that right now. Right now I'm just worried about the highlight part. Okay, now the next part of the highlight is going to be done like this. We're going to take the, make another layer, rectangle tool, make sure I'm, how much time I have left. Make a thin rectangle, not, not too thick, something like this. And then fill this in with white. Now, you could do like the uh, pen tool and stroke it, whatever, and have the edges to be perfect like this, what I'm about to do right now to make a point. But um, another way to make a point is using the pen tool. And you just kind of zoom way in, start at the edge here, like so, connect that, and then use the convert tool here, and just kind of pull it to where it has somewhat of a roundness to it, like that. And I, I don't want it to be too pointy, so I might just round it a little bit like that. Make this a selection. Paint this in with the paintbrush, like that. So now you can see it has a little bit of a roundness there. I'm going to copy this edge, edit, copy, edit, paste, edit, transform, flip horizontally, and then add it to there so that you have a point on each side, about like so. And then I'm going to merge those two layers together. I'm going to bring this down to where the point is facing right about here. 
and then I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm just about out of time, so we'll have to come back for the next part. Blur, Gaussian blur. But I just kind of want to show you what's going to start happening here. The first one's going to be kind of large like that. And that's all I can do for now, I think. Filter. Let me try one more thing here before we go. Motion blur. Kind of extend the length of it a little bit out to where it kind of comes all the way out over there like that. And I'm going to have to end it here, and we'll come back and we'll finish this as we continue with part three. And uh, this is how to draw without actually having to draw. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Thanks. Also, visit my website. Help support me. That way I can continue bringing you more free tutorials. Okay, I think it's really ending now.